Up good time, we're almost going to jump on start time for race four. Verlay the only scratching in this race, who I thought had a good chance actually, Verlay. So Kakadia drawn the inside will be the last one to load up for Kel Gates. The starter sprinting over to the starting platform. Lights on. Set for the Ken Mills Toyota. Race four on Easter Saturday here at Nanango. Set and ready. Off they go. All dawdling out was Salazar. Missed the start by about eight lengths. Whistle and Arrow was the fastest to begin. Mofield Worry, who's the favourite, lands on the bunny as well. Oakfield Comanche third, but it looks to be about wide. All getting a bit of a check there as Raku's secret in front of it is Cacadia. Followed by one rampant, and Salazar is now about six lengths last. So settling down with 800 to go in race four today. And leading the way is Whistling Arrow by a length or so. In second position there is Mofield Warrior. Third is Oakfield Comanche. Kakadia in fourth posse. Then comes Run Rampant, followed a gap to Salazar. And Raku's secret, where he's on his worst behaviour today, last of all. We're leading away as Whistling Arrow. Inside the 400 it goes. About two lengths in front of Mofield Warrior, who's just being felt for now. Oakfield Comanche coming to the race well. Then comes Run Rampant, followed by Kakadia. Salazar and a long last to Raku. Secret as they swing for home. Whistling Arrow. Here comes Oakfield Comanche and Ian French. And then Mofield Warrior, so you go ground along the inside. So shortly after it was Oakfield Comanche took the lead from Whistling Arrow. Oakfield Comanche in front near the post. Oakfield Comanche is too good for Whistling Arrow. Third posse was the favourite, Mofield Warrior. And then comes Run Rampant, followed by Kakadia. Salazar did well to catch most of them up. Raku's secret, a long, long last. <laughs> Number four, Oakfield Comanche. Ian French, the winning jockey. And John Hamilton, the winning trainer. <laughs> well done, Ian. That might be one of his first winners back for Ian French. We'll confirm minor placings as well. That was a bit tight for second and third. Three got second, Whistling Arrow, who battled on well. And Mofield Warrior, the favourite, wound up in third. Fourth was the eight run rampant. So we'll confirm numbers on the fourth, the Ken Mills. Four, three, five and eight, the unofficial numbers. Four, three, five and eight on the fourth race. As we congratulations to the winning owner, John also owns that horse outright, in fact, Oakfield Comanche. Win seven today, so we welcome back Oakfield Comanche in fact and Ian French, the winner of the Ken Mills Toyota. Second posse going to number three, Whistling Arrow for Landon Sykes, Peter Moncrief of Gaddon, and third was the five, Mofield Warrior, the five, Todd Banks and Grant Arnold. Takes us forward now to our last race today. Scratching seven, 12 and 13 out of the last race. And the last race with thanks to Heritage Bank is due at 4.10. 4.10 for the last race today. Margins one and three quarters by three quarters. Time. One ten flat. Yeah. yeah. And winning time one ten flat. So one ten zero zero the winning time. About one and a half seconds outside the class record. And who's that coming? It's a horse that's been... Who 
is that horse over there? Number number six, Cacadia. Don't know what happened to it. Did it go over the line, Paul? Yeah, it went over the line. Okay, well, she's just coming back now. Something's gone amiss. 